Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be migrating data on a PVC from the vSphere SC storage class to the new Thin CSI storage class. Now, if you've upgraded your environment like I have uh, to 415 or actually 413 and above, the migration of vSphere storage class to the Thin CSI will be automatic. You'll see a lot of these volumes here have migrated. I'm going to be actually be doing a migration and I didn't I wasn't even thinking about it until I noticed that I still had three volumes here that never got migrated during the upgrade. So I figured I would go ahead and do a manual migration and show you how to do that. But along the way, I also figured out that the migration would then enable those thin CSI uh, features like creating volume snapshots, which is what I wanted to do. OK, so let's jump into uh, what the what we're going to be migrating. And I have a, a project, a viewing project here that run, just one, runs a website. Um, so there's a WordPress uh, application server and a MarionDB database backend. And so the, these are the volumes that you see here, right? But these are the two volumes, one for WordPress and one for MarionDB. However, I've already migrated this one. There were WordPress PV claim to the new CSI WordPress PV claim. So you can see that they've They've been migrated, right? So we're using that data now. We're going to do the database one together, just so you can see how that how that works. Okay. Um, so let's uh, uh, let's see. Let's actually create our volume. So we want to create the volume first of all. So I'm just going to grab this name. That way I don't have to type it. And we'll create our PVC. Um, then we'll do create PVC. Um, and we'll do one gig. So the volume is one gig. File system is fine. And we'll click create. Wait, what? No, it already exists. Sorry. CSI, there we go, create. Okay, so now we got a uh, unbound PVC, right? All right, so now we need to create a pod to bind it, and then that would create that, that volume for us. So we'll just create a pod and get rid of all this, and I'll just paste this in. Uh, this is just running Alpine as my image, and I've just taken this from the, uh, from the database pod. Uh, the mount path really doesn't matter because we're going to be mirroring the volumes anyway. And then uh, let's see this. I went ahead and called it the CSI Mary DBPV claim. That way it binds that. We're, again, we're just creating the volume. All right. So we'll click create. And then when we go to pods, we should see this get created. But the big thing is getting that PVC created, right, and bound. And now we got the CSI Mary and DBPV claim. Uh, so now this volume is available. Uh, again, I, I don't really need that pod, so we're going to get rid of it because all I need was that uh, PVC to be created. All right, so now that's created. If you do it, try to do it manually, um, the default state says that it's waiting for a consumer, and the consumer would be the pod. So that's why I just fired up the pod, get it, get it created. Now we got a thin CSI volume for that Marion DB. There's a script um, that you can run. I found it from uh, this gentleman here, Justin IO uh, website. W works great. The only thing you need to add is the uh, a service account name. So I created the service account name just by doing um, OC create uh, SA or service account migrate PV. PV, right? Okay. And then we need to assign uh, any ID policy to it. Uh, again, this is just temporary to do the migration because we're going to be using a default Debian image. All right, so it's just OCADM policy, P O L I C Y, uh, add SCC to user, and then the policy name, any UID. That way it can use any ID again because we're doing uh, the default Debian image. And then uh, system service account. And then the namespace, in this case, viewing. And then the the name of the service account, PV, like that. OK, so that will assign the NEUID policy to the service account. And now our script will work. <clears throat> and we'll just kind of review the script real quick. It's going to take two inputs, one the service PVC and the second one the destination PVC. Keep in mind here, uh, the handy thing is the source PVC has a read-only true, so it's not going to overwrite anything. And we're doing an rsync, so we're imaging the volume, uh, the default or the original PVC to the target PVC. And once that's done, uh, we'll have our image and we can rebind the uh, um, the deployment to the new to the new volume. Okay, so uh, first things first, let's go to our deployments, 
And again, I've already done the WordPress one. We're going to do the MariaDB now. So if I just turn that one off, so we're going to remove it, scale it down to zero. So there's no no activity on the database right now. Uh, we'll leave it like this. Uh, we'll go to the PVCs here. And then we'll just run this script uh, with those PVC names. Uh, so again, in that format, um, source uh, destination. So it'll be um, sh, what did I call it? Migrate, yeah. And then our old one, which is uh, Marion DB is the old volume. And then our new one, Marion DB claim here, like that, Hit enter. That should create the job. All right, so that's, sorry, that's the job that it completed. That's this one. And this is the new job here. Okay, so uh, we could just do uh, OC get, let's do get pop. Uh, actually, I can just watch the pods here. And it looks like the migration pod completed. Uh, so that's great. And we can rerun that, see OC get jobs. Oops, OC get jobs o wide and certainly completed okay so now we need to mic or change our pvc name to the new pvc name so we can go back to deployments uh, under MariaDB deployment let's edit the yaml file and we change the volume name the claim name here to be csi dash cs if i can spell csi dash MariaDB pv claim this is the new one and click save, go to deployments, MariaDB, spin that up. Let's go to pods, select it. Should be pulling that image down, already present. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, looks like it worked. All right, let's check our website. And we'll go to viewing.com. And it certainly looks like that website is up. All right, yeah, all the small artifacts are working there. Okay, great. So what we did was we did a migration, a simple migration doing an rsync between two PVCs in order to get our vSphere volumes into the new thin CSI volumes. I'm just gonna refresh that. All right, we're on these volumes here and we can double check that by going to our pods, select our MariaDB pod, and we should be able to see our CSI MariaDB PV claim is the one that's mounted here in the correct path. So that is good. Uh, deployments are good. I'm just gonna leave those old PVCs around just to, um, just as a backup. All right, but now we should have access to some of those other features, like we can do snapshots, right? So if we go into this PVC, we can create a volume snapshot and we'll say create snapshot. And we now have access to that volume. I can create a snapshot here. Now we have a snapshot volume. If we go to a uh, an existing project that has, let's say, already been migrated. So this has a, a volume as well. I think we have volumes here. Should have volumes. Let me double check PVCs. PVCs. Oh, no volumes in that one. Uh, see, I know I have one on key cloak. Let's grab that. If we take a look at this, this is the vSphere SC. Uh, there's no snapshots available here. Cannot cre create any snapshots with that default one. If we go to another project, let's say our Sonotype Nexus, and I create or select this PVC, volume snapshots, create snapshot. I can, oh, it looks like I can now create a snapshot there. Okay, that's all for this video. Just wanted to show you how to do the uh, quick little PV migration going from uh, PVCs using the volume or VMware storage class default uh, to the new thin CSI driver and uh, given us the ability to then look at our volumes and take uh, take volume snapshots, which is important for this particular website. And if we take a look at our MariaDB, we can do volume snapshots here. There aren't any. 
we'll grab one, create a snapshot. Now we have the CSI driver available, create a snapshot there. Boom, now we have our snapshot so we can roll back. All right, so thanks again. Appreciate your time. This is a really quick video, but I hope you got something out of it. Please like, subscribe. Until next time.